You guys can't see my children in the back. I have Thomas Brady's extra. That'd be really cute. Okay. I don't know what I was going to say. It just literally, like, poof, it left me. And then now, ooh, I broke my eye. Um, gosh, palette. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, why am I doing this? I don't know. So today I am going to be showing you guys how to get this look, which is basically my everyday makeup or my, I try to make it my everyday makeup because I don't do my makeup every day, but it is what I wear when I go out and I don't want it to be too much. Even though for some of you, it might be too much for me. It's not. Well, sometimes it is too much. There are times where I don't even feel like putting on eyeshadow, just to be honest with you guys. And I don't do eyeshadow every single time I do my makeup but I always try to look presentable because you guys like you guys will see me in like graphic t-shirts or long sleeves a pair of like ripped jeans or yoga pants some running shoes and my hair is gonna be like this my if my when my mom sees this video she's gonna be like what were you thinking like por qué? Like, why? You couldn't even fix your hair. Girl, I'm trying to be myself. Calm down, mother. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really, 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 really appreciate it. I do. So, without further ado, let's get on to the video. Alright, let's get started, guys. So what I always try to do whenever I, before I even touch my face with anything, product, whatever, I always make sure my hands are clean because you're touching your face with like dirty, your hands are dirty, there's dirt in your hands. So of course your hand, your face needs to be clean before you apply anything to it. So my face is clean even though it might not look clean, it is clean. So before I even turned on the camera, I had to move some things around. So I'm just going to take just take any hand sanitizer that you guys have and, you know, just clean your hands. Make sure your hands are clean. Okay, come on. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, so just make sure your hands are clean, people. Because you don't want to touch your face when your hands are dirty. Because it's just going to cause breakouts and on your skin or that at least that's how my skin is so I'm gonna show you guys how I do my everyday makeup everything I use is basically what I use every single day whenever I do my makeup except for something else I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I'm gonna moisturize my face because I have really dry skin even though my <clears throat> I mean my skin used to be really oily not anymore girl mm -mm. my skin i don't know it's dry like so i'm just gonna take the mario badescu i don't know how to pronounce half of the things i use um so it's just a moisturizer it's the yellow one i don't know if you guys can see it yeah it's a yellow one and i'm just gonna take um that much and apply it Ooh. all over my skin well, my face. If you guys see me looking down, it's because I actually have a mirror right here. And, I mean, there's a mirror behind the camera as well. But I'm, I don't want to be like this, like, looking over here. No. That's just not nice. I'm actually going to take a little bit more, guys, because I, I didn't apply anything on my forehead. So, I'm going to apply it on my forehead and just, I'm just going to spread it all over my face. Ah, oh, this feels good. I really like the way this feels. This feels I'm sorry. My okay, that's too loud. I'm gonna take the benefit, the professional, uh, and I'm gonna apply that on my nose, my forehead, and my chin. But not just my nose. I'm gonna drag it out all the way to my under eyes because that's where my pores are bigger. And I'm gonna apply it and down. I'm gonna apply it downwards because you're pores grow upwards so you're filling them whenever you're applying them you're filling in your pores whenever you're you apply your 
anything for your pores downwards. So, yeah. I have huge pores, guys. I'm not even kidding. They're ugly. I'm like, who are you? <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Apply it on my forehead, my nose, and my chin. And then while I let that sink in, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I know there's people that do their face before they do their eyebrows. I don't. I like to do my eyebrows before I do my face. And I'm going to go ahead and bring my mirror higher. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills, their brow definer. And this shade is medium brown. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, with my eyebrows. And since I haven't done them in quite some time, I try to grab it like this just to create the arch. And then I'll just drop it. I'll show you guys right now what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start right here. Why do I try to do makeup? I swear I suck. So, yeah. And then I bring it up to the front. And I create the arch of it. Can you guys see that? Can you guys see? I'm mean, gonna look. I need to stop looking at the viewfinder. I need to get better at that. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just starting this. I'm so sorry. And then for this, I'm gonna do the same thing to shape it out in the front. I mean, at the top. What? Who am I? I can't even talk right now, guys. I swear. And I'm going to make my arc. Oh, that was ugly. Okay, and I'm going to make the arch. Mm-hmm. Like that. To me, it doesn't matter if it comes out, if they come out, like, super thick. Because I'm going to go in and clean them up with concealer right now. So, yeah. And then, once I think I have it to the desired shape. I'm gonna, and I just leave it like that and then I'm going to go ahead and do the other one as well. I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to lift it up as well because, like I said, guys, I haven't done my eyebrows. So, let's go. Ooh. So, let's go ahead and do that. Mm, they look about pretty. I'm going to look in the viewfinder. That way I can see if they're even. That's as even as they're going to get. Okay, and I'm going to repeat the same step at the top. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you mess, well, if I mess up a little bit. I'm going to go in and clean it with concealer. Do you guys hear those kids screaming? Oh my god. Um, yeah. So, my eyebrows is what takes me the longest. The longest. Okay. I'm going to leave this out just in case. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the brush that I use to clean my eyebrows real quick. Here we go. And so, if you guys hear that, it's me looking for the brushes. It's me looking for the brushes. So, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Morphe M432 to clean my eyebrows. You know, and I'm going to grab a little bit of the concealer at the top. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my eyebrows and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lift it up to clean it. I look creepy when I do that. Okay, ignore my creepy face. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to clean it. I know some people go in with another brush to blend it. I don't. I use my finger. Well, eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. Even though mine sometimes turn out to be like second cousins or something. I'm really excited to actually try out a new foundation because I'm trying out a new foundation today, guys. I'm using the <clears throat> Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation because, like I said, my skin has been really dry. And I don't know how it's going to work with the brush. And I'm in the shade Fair Beige because this foundation oxidizes. It does. It's a fact. And I'm going to see how it works with my skin. But I don't know if it works. I don't know if it blends good with the brush or a beauty blender. I'm going to see how it starts with the brush. Because 
that's just who I am. I like to test the waters. So, uh, to, yeah. It has this nice little applicator. I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my skin. No, duh. This does not feel hydrating. Now I always like to drag it down to my neck, guys. So, once I look something like this, I'll take a Morphe M439 to blend my foundation. If I'll see how it works with the brush. If I don't like the way it works with the brush, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the beauty sponge. So, I'm going to go ahead and blend that in. I did hear that this foundation doesn't have, like, isn't, it's not full coverage. So, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. It smells weird. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the second layer. Because, girl, she's not doing anything to my face. It may look super white on camera, guys. But I promise you it's going to oxidize. I'm still a little sick. So, like, I'll sniff sometimes. But I don't think I'm sick. I think it was just an allergic reaction to something. I think I've been outside too much. I'm allergic to people. I'm not, guys. I just don't like going outside a lot. I don't like... I'm not very social. If anything, I'm socially awkward. If I can use two words to describe me, socially awkward would be the best ones. Okay, so once I've blended the foundation into my skin, even though I'm still doing it. And now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the same um, concealer I used to clean my eyebrows. And apply it on my under eyes. Just to cover dark circles, because I have really dark circles. Okay. Because I don't sleep. So I'll apply it on my, on my under eyes. My nose and my cupid's bow. I'm going to go ahead and use this to blend my concealer in. I don't use brushes to blend in my concealer. I don't like it. And it may look like I'm being super rough with my skin. I'm not. I promise you I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Is that how you pronounce her name? I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes and my entire face using this powder. And for my under eyes, I'm going to take another beauty sponge. This is how I'm going to set my under eyes. And I like to prime my eyes with concealer because when I use an eyeshadow primer, my eyes just get so irritated by it. It doesn't matter which one it is. Now I'm going to go in with a Morphe E41. I promise you guys, this is not sponsored by Morphe. I wish it was. But I love Morphe brushes so much because they're so soft. I do have other, br other brushes that are not Morphe. But I love Morphe. So if Morphe ever wants to sponsor me, they can go ahead and do it. I go in with the Just Mattes. Just Peachy Mattes by Too Faced. I was going to go in with the Morphe, but I found it burned. I found this one. And I'm going to use this for... It's just like a little blending brush. Go ahead and take this one right here. Oh, can you see my setup? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and take this right here. You know, just swirl it around. Just, you know, dab my brush in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and take it in my crease. That's me tapping on the excess. I'm just going to go ahead and take it in my crease. I'm going to use this as a transition shade. Oh my god, that's a lot. Okay. I Like I said, guys, I am no expert doing makeup. I don't consider myself, um, what's it called? A makeup artist or a professional in anything or an expert in anything. Mm -hmm. She looks something like that. And then I'll do the same thing with the other eye. Yep, until it's there and they look a little even. I'm going to go ahead and go in with uh, Morphe M5 
18. I'm gonna mix peach sangria, which is right here, with this little guy over here, which is just ripe. Right here, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not. And I'm gonna put it on the same place I applied peach cobbler in on. So yeah, that way I'm creating like the little bit of uh burgundy cranberry look mm -hmm, that does not look all right but i apply the same amount of product in both eyes on both eyes and both eyes whatever i shouldn't be saying whatever because yeah people will lecture me about it I'm going to take a Morphe M502, I swear to God. And just, it has like no product in it. Or at least I thought it didn't. It doesn't have any product on it, so I'm just going to use this to blend. That way I won't get any harsh edges. And like... I'm trying to think like which day is going to be really exciting for me. That way I can vlog it. That way I just won't show you the boring things I do. I do every single day because I literally get up at 4 in the morning, guys. I do. So now I'm going to go in with another brush. Duh. I'm going to go in with the Morphe M433 brush and I'm going to take Peach Tart, which is right here. Peach Tart, right here. And I'm going to apply that on my lid. I'm going to show you guys how. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and do it like this. I don't know if you guys can hear my background music. Well, not my background music, like the music I'm listening to because I have to listen to music whenever I get ready. I don't know why. It just gets me in the mood and it gets me pumped to listening to music. But I do not want to get copyrighted. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go back in with the M502 and just blend. Blend, 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 blend. And I just build up that color until I like it like dark enough for me to like it. So yeah. Okay. I'm gonna check how this looks. I'm telling you guys, I think I'm good at makeup and then I look into the mirror and I'm like, what is that? Okay, so that's uh, as good as it's gonna get and it's probably not even. So whatever, we're just going to roll with it. I'm going to go in with the Morphe M213. It's just a little brush like this. I should probably go in with a bigger one. But we'll see how it works. And I'm going to go ahead and... You guys are going to hate me for this. I'm going to take my Morphe... Which one is this? The 35 is it the, Is this the original? Yeah. This is the Natural Glow palette. I'm going to go ahead and take this in here and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on the center of my lid I don't do this always I don't do it like nicely I'll I don't know my makeup is always messy and it's always all over the place that way it can match my life I don't even know why I laugh at that. Honestly, I don't. There are days, guys, where I'm like literally so extra. I'll actually take glitters. 
like actual glitter but it depends on my mood on how extra I want to be as for eyeshadow that's it that's it should I do eyeliner yeah I don't think I'm gonna do a wing I don't think I don't feel like struggling so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my lashes I'm going to go ahead and go in with this Lancome Booster Lash. It's like a lash primer. It's like a white lash primer. And I use it to prime my, my lashes. Of course, that's what I use it for. So, yeah. And then I, I have to do one eye first. Because if this dries, like, the mascara goes on horribly. Like, it looks clumpy and disgusting. And I do not like it. So my camera decided to die on me <laughs> because I forgot to charge my batteries, guys. I suck at this. I literally do. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Lancome primer. Like I said, I already did with this eye. So I'm just going to show you guys what I did on this eye. Yeah. So they should look something like this. If you guys use this. I mean, I know there's a Maybelline. Mascara that includes like a little primer like this one. So, or it's maybe it's L'Oreal. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I need to stop looking at the viewfinder once again. My camera better not start blinking right now because I did not let it fully charge. Some rubble. And then I'm gonna go in with my. With Benefit, their real mascara. I'm sorry, guys. I told you guys that I was going to try and make you guys not regret subscribing to my channel. I promise you, I will try next video. I promise. My, my camera angles, guys, are probably going to switch out a lot throughout the entire video because that's just how messed up I am. I need to get my life together. So now I'm going to go in and the lower lash line and I'm going to go ahead and take a Morphe E36. Like I said, I'm going to use, I suck at this. I'm going to use a peach tea, which is right here. I believe it's that one. I'm going to run it, my lower lash line. Mm -hmm. I make weird faces when I do my lower lash line, just so you guys Are prepared for it and I just leave it at that and then I do the same steps for the lower lash line as I for the look for the lower lashes as I as I did for the top lashes so Lancome Lancome primer Too Faced Better Than Sex and their real mascara I always forget the name of this little guy Can you guys tell I'm trying so hard not to make weird faces? But that's just life. Well, that's just me. I make weird faces all the time. Like, literally, guys. I'm just a weird person, but I like being weird. I feel like I explain myself too much. You guys are probably going to come at me in the comments. Or whoever watches this, you know it's gonna come at me in the comments and they're gonna be like, girl, you suck. I'm like, I know. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my Morphe R2. Go ahead and take my Hula bronzer because everybody loves Hula. I think it's the only bronzer I use. And I'm gonna go ahead and just bronze up my face. I'm not gonna contour because I'm not. I'm not a real big fan of like contouring even though it should be because my cheeks need it this is similar to a MAC brush that I wanted I mean the shape of it it's similar to a MAC brush that I wanted but I forget the name of it I remember I wanted to get it and I don't remember why I didn't 
Oh, I remember why. Because the lady at Mac was being super rude, and I was like, girl. I was literally just looking at the sample brush that they have there. She was like, please don't touch the brushes. And I was like, I wasn't touching it. I was looking at it. So I didn't purchase it. And she walked away and then she came back in and she was like, she came back in. She came back to me. She was like, are you doing all right, ma'am? And I was like, yeah. And then I left and she was like, you're not going to take the brush. And I was like, no, ma'am, I don't like it. Even though I did like it, but I didn't take it. So I'm going to do a little bit of nose contour. So what I've learned... Ooh, what I've learned is that the closer you make the lines, the smaller your nose will appear. With the same brush that I apply my lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and blend this little guy. Or with my finger, you know. I'm going to go ahead and take just a regular fan brush. I don't even know where this is from, honestly. But just take a little fan brush, any fan brush that you guys like. I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills the blush kit. You guys can use any blush that you, any blush that you guys have. And I'm going to use... I'm going to take Coastline. Coastline. I'm just going to apply it as if I was applying my bronzer. So I'm just going to... Oh, go in with the smaller powder brush. This is just... I probably got this at Walmart. Or TJ Maxx. And I'm just going to blend all of this in. I'm going to go ahead and set my face. Where are you? With the Too Faced 3-in-1 Hangover Primer in spray. So I'm going to spritz this all over my face. I'm going to look stupid when I get this. Just, just know that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and apply my highlighter. If I can find it soon enough. Which is a Maybelline Chrome highlighter in the shade molten rose gold or molten rose gold or it's just rose fondue it's just the rose gold one but i like giving them fancy names there is my highlighting brush i'm gonna go in with the morphe m510 and apply this just highlighting Ugh, i love highlighter I love looking like a glazed donut. I seriously do. And then I take my Morphe M560. I'm going to apply this to the inner corner of my eyes. The same highlight. The inner corner of my eyes and down the bridge of my nose. And the tip of my nose. And on my cupid as well. And for my brow highlight, did you guys think, does she leave her brow like that? No. I take Eclipse by Jeffree Star and Manny MUA. And I literally run it all over my brow bone. I'm going to go ahead and wipe my lips because I hate concealer lips. I just, well, I don't hate, hate is a strong word. I just don't like concealer lips i don't know why i just don't like the look of them on me on other people i love them i'm gonna go ahead and take this l'oreal la matte velvety full coverage lip color in the shade 102 and it's called she's so matte so i'm gonna use it to outline my lips and to fill in my lips Okay guys, so yeah. Right now I don't remember until I already have lipstick on. and yeah that's how it should look sometimes i will even throw a little bit of gloss on top of it my camera's messed up 
there we go i will throw a little bit of gloss on top just so my lips can look a lot plumper or a lot bigger but not today i'm not feeling it today plus I, I think i already showed you guys how late it is so yeah that's basically all i do for my everyday makeup sometimes i do all of this sometimes i don't which is you know it depends on my mood really and yes i know i did use a lot of morphe brushes and i don't want to see that every single brush i use is morphe brushes well basically it is every single brush that i used on this tutorial and basically every single brush that i use is morphe brushes because i really like their brushes it i'm not getting paid you know this is not sponsored or anything i wish i love morphe but i purchased the jaclyn hill brush set which is amazing i love it i mean i love morphe i already knew i was gonna love it <laughs> this aren't open they're amazing but you get 23 brushes for 155 dollars plus a hard case it's not a review on the brushes guys i'm just telling you what i use and i love them but of course if i can find a cheaper version or cheaper alternatives you guys can use i will definitely link them down below and i will leave the link down below to the morphe um site and the brushes i mean i have some right here which these are from oh my god these are from amazon i need to get my life together these are all these are from amazon and i think amazon brushes are really good they got the job done so every single brush that I own, is it Morphe? No. Do I have other brushes that I like more than Morphe? Probably not. But yes, there are a lot of brushes that I like a lot. And I don't know. I just really like Morphe brushes. But anyway, guys, this was the outcome. I'm sorry for my weirdness. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i guess i want to thank you guys so much for you know all the nice comments you guys left on my first video you guys are all so nice thank you thank you thank you so much for your support thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for commenting you know like this video comment share subscribe i will see you guys next week in my next tutorial Oh, leave a comment down below of what kind of makeup tutorials or what kind of videos you guys want to see on my channel. That way I can start taking notes. Anyway, follow me on my social medias that I have at the end of the video or they'll be linked down below. I think it's only Twitter and Instagram. My Snapchat is currently personal right now. I should probably go make my Instagram public right now because it's private. Okay. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye.